Hey Tooth Friends, what's going on? Welcome back for another video-ish. And I'm gonna kinda keep this beginning short because I got a full video to replay from last week. So I don't know what the heck happened. Last week's video with Mrs. Two-Wheeled talking about looking for a new jacket. When I went to schedule that video, it posted it did not go to the next screen to give me the option to schedule it for the next day and it was like 11 o'clock the night before it posted within two minutes i went back in rescheduled it but when it when it ran at 11 central 11 a.m central on thursday it just did not get the views. It didn't, it didn't give you guys a notification that there was a video. There's two of you guys who are regular commenters. So Richard and Chris, your comments are on there, but I don't know if anybody else has seen this video. So what I'm gonna do, this short little intro, apologizing, it's something I've never done. But following this is gonna be that video again. I'm gonna drop it again. So what I'll do is I will just roll right into that video. Like I said, I've never done this before. Drop your comments down below if you've ever had this happen or just comment on what the topic's about. Talking to Mrs. Two-Wheeled, looking for a new riding jacket. So let's cut to last week's video as a redo thanks for watching hey what's going on two-wheeled friends welcome back for another episode on the two-wheeled channel it's kind of par for the course but we got mrs two-wheeled kind of out leading we're just kind of out for a cruise we we're talking a little bit about one of the last videos about lane position and th the comments appreciate all of you who have left comments below it kind of sparked a little bit of conversation. Yeah. Kind of sparked a little bit of conversation with us. So we were chatting about it a little bit. So thank you all for leaving your comments. A lot of great comments. Definitely. I appreciate all the insight. But we're just going to go for a little cruise before we go grab a burger. So let's roll the intro. When we come back, we'll find a topic to talk about. Smells good. <laughs> we just went yeah. by. Yeah, it's like that the grill at Pages. Yeah, I just went by a restaurant. When you're hungry, it uh, definitely wants to draw you in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm good. You're hungry. I, I'm good. I think oh, I'm so man. full. I'm so all those pretzels I ate. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am so hungry. <laughs> So thanks for coming along with us on this beautiful summer day. So what do you want to talk about? Alright, so I put on my Instagram looking for recommendations. I am in need of a new motorcycle jacket. This, this one, the, it's still good and everything, it's just too big on me now. So when I bought this, I was a passenger. On, only desired to be a passenger and now that I'm riding I can feel like it just kind of hangs on me and it gets a little uncomfortable at times so I'm looking for recommendations on a new motorcycle jacket okay so you want our two-wheeled friends to help a little bit yeah primarily any female two-wheeled friends out there we obviously know you have ape arms. No, I don't. <laughs> Monkey arms. Monkey arms. Does that does that sound better? Uh, so to share a little family history with your channel, all the girls on my dad's side have these super long arms, <laughs> and it's always just it's always been a struggle for me, like just shopping for clothes in general and especially ouch and especially jackets because 
because they always come up higher than the rest. The camera jumped down. Let me fix that. There we go. I think it's loose. I think we might have to fix it. Quit hitting the bumps. I'm sorry. All right, so we had so we had to pull over the camera on Mrs. Two Wheel. Kind of bounced. She must have hit a big bump and it come off of her. So we were kind of talking about her long arms and the difficulties she has in finding a jacket. So not only am I I'm five ten, so I need my needs or my wants for, for this new jacket is obviously going to be something long enough for my torso but then also not too long where it's going to be all bunched up like how this is and then long enough for my arms and one of the things that I, I put on my Instagram was that I didn't want it to be like a crop top you know yeah. I didn't want it to appear to be like a crop top yeah, so traditionally, motorcycle jackets, they are made lengthwise to be at about the belt. Right. So when you sit down, they don't come up on you. And that's the problem that I have with this one is that it's longer because I got it mostly to be a passenger. But now that I'm riding, I mean, you can see that the collar is even up and it's rubbing against my neck when I don't have it zipped up all the way. Yeah. So we know a men's jacket would fit you, but you know, lengthwise and all that. But the problem is, is it's not the right kind of taper. Right. And there's adjustments, kind of like the one you have on around the waist and all that to kind of pull it in. Mm -hmm. If there's any females in the group and there's a jacket that you really like, I want to know. Yeah, leave your, leave your comment below or head over to Mrs. Dot Two Wheel, that Instagram, and find the post and leave a comment or just send a message. Yeah. I am also going to be in need of a leather jacket and kind of open for some brand recommendations too. So. Mine that I had was a Street and Steel from Revzilla and the stitching in the sleeve ripped open on our Lincoln, Nebraska trip. Extra ventilation. Yeah. So before fall, I'll be looking for something too because that cold air cuts right in there. You know, another thing that I would like to add to that is finding something that has open and closable vents too for Mrs. Two Wheeled because, and obviously for myself, but this topic's mostly looking for her because I, I feel that's important in a leather jacket. Yeah, and I have that with this and I like it. And it could be either like a leather slash textile combination. I know there are some brands out there that that are a dual type material. So mm -hmm. like, I want to know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like what you know, what do people like? What do people stay away from? Because I know that there's some brands out there that people you know they're like, no, don't do it. Don't even waste your time on it. Well, I want to know that. Yeah, go right ahead. Jeez. Yep. Yeah. Can you bleep that one out? Didn't even look. No. I should have honked at him. Yeah. So yeah, leave those comments down below what you have. I know there's not a lot of female riders in this group that comment. There are a few. I haven't seen some of you in a while. But if you are a male and have some kind of input, maybe your your significant other is a rider as well, maybe you can get their input and drop it down below in the comments as well. Any information is greatly appreciated. That's right. <laughs> Thank, thanks for your input. 
I'm still I'm still learning this. Like it like it's okay to over talk type thing. No, you need to take your turn. What do you mean? You need to take your turn and not over talk. I don't know what you're what you're saying. Like talk over me? No, like talk too talk much. Talk too much? Oh yeah. no, you wanna keep you wanna keep but, talking while the camera's rolling. <laughs> like it's okay to talk 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 talk. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I don't know. I think that's what I think that's what everybody here wants to to hear is somebody talking. You're much better at talking than I am. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's a great Dane over there. Yeah. Yeah, you've done this dual vlog business enough here. You should kind of know how this works. Well, I don't know. Well, th <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Is that is that what we should do here? I don't know. I don't know. That camera angle is not right. Yeah, it moved again. Now you're telling me I gotta control my speed. I gotta make sure my blinker's off. I gotta shift into the right gear, and now I have to make sure the camera's on me. Yep. Oh my god. You're asking a lot. Yep. I don't like it. What happened to simplicity, Dustin? Well, two old friends, I think we'll keep this video a little short for now. We'll just kind of talk about the jacket, so leave your recommendations below. As was said before, Mrs. Two Wheeled and I will just kind of chat on our way to the sports bar where we're going to get a burger. Appreciate you all watching. Come back on Saturday for Shadow Day. And we'll see if we got a constructive topic or if we'll just do something at random. And I know Shadow Day has been a little bit different lately with Mrs. Two Wheeled on the bike every time. We've been out riding together, so it's almost like every video is Shadow Day. <laughs> and as the editor and the one that puts it into a folder on YouTube it makes it really difficult what I should name the episode because I keep track of on this bike it's season two but on that bike it's just shadow day and like we're up to like 50 something episodes on shadow day <laughs> so it makes it really complicated well, we'll talk about that maybe in another video of how all of you fellow moto vloggers keep things organized. So with that, be sure to go down, give this video a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and like watching motorcycle related content. Don't forget to ring the bell for future uploads and activity. And until next time, peace out. And we will see you later. Bye bye.